Hello, today I show you how to use new array in Photoshop Action. And firstly, some recommendations for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least 2000 pixels for best effect. Okay, first of all, do these operations. First step. Make sure you are using the English version of Photoshop. If you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mod, and check the RGB color <coughs> and add this channel. Okay, and last step, just for CS5 and highest version. Click on menu icon at the right on the layers panel. Select panel options and check the add copy to copy layers and groups. Okay, that's all. Now how to use action. Open your image. And one more important thing. Your photo need to have the background to you. So if your photo have this view, is you. you just need to select photo, then go to the layer, new, and select background from layer. Now it's OK. Next step, open brushes file. Brushes. Next, open the action. For that, go to the window, actions. Click on menu icon at the right. Select load actions and just find action on your computer and open it. OK. Then create a new layer and name it area. And please don't use the caps lock. Now, when you create new layer, you just need to paint the area on this layer that you need to focus. You can use any colors, not matter what color do you use. I like red. I'm little scroll at this tab and when you paint the area you need to make little more space for the effect. Select crop tool and just scale the frame. Okay, and now I show you how to change your image size. It's very easy. Just go to image, select image size, and now you need to change the value of width. Enter 2000. Okay, and now we have 2000 pixels of width and next when you paint it area create more space you just need to find action on the action list and open it and click play go again to the window actions open your action and click play And now Photoshop asks you, now you need to save PSD file as you will need it soon. You can use any name to proceed. Please click continue. Click continue. Now you need to save your file, your PSD file. You can use any names. I like image name. Save. 
wait a few seconds and Photoshop message again. And now you need to do two things. First, in the next window, click OK. And second, open a previously saved PSD file. To proceed, please click Continue. OK, click Continue, click OK, and select your PSD file. Image. OK, now you need to wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions. Speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. And I am little scroll at this step too. For closing all groups, we need to click the right click on arrow, click open other groups, then click on arrow again, again and select close all other groups. OK. Uh, you can see we have separated groups and you can change saturation of all image, change the color. Change the contrast if you need, and you can change the color of all image. Of course, you can use any colors. And you can change the color of background. And you can change the size and the power of background light. Scale the light and change the power of light. And of course you can replace your light if you need. And you can make invisible every group change the range vector left right and center and if you need to erase sum of effect just select layer mask of this effect select the brush select black color and just paint on the layer mask black color to erase and white color to make visible so it's ready just save Thanks for watching and good luck.